The FDIC meeting as well today, 2.30, will be voting on you know, changes to the Volcker rule, basically, which would allow certain banks to invest basically in alternatives like PE and venture capital more than they had been. Who benefits most of the big banks from this decision? Well, look, I mean, I think the whole industry benefits by having the Volcker rule in place, you know, period. I mean, that's, you know, by not having you know, proprietary debts like a lot of the major players had going into the global financial crisis is one reason why the industry is much more safe. But there's, there's still, you know, recalibrating uh, the Volcker rule uh, to make it a little bit easier to make markets, to make it a little bit less punitive if you're dealing, say, in the swaps market with the capital, and give a little more flexibility to invest in you know, private equity and venture capital. So that would be the, the, the largest banks, like Citigroup, Bank America, J.P. Morgan, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley. And, uh, you know, our theme has been Goliath is winning. Bigger is better. Not because big is just good by itself. And, you know, Vani, I said break up the banks a decade ago. But, you know, as the data changed, so our views changed. And the largest uh, banks are also the largest capital market players, and they are helping to facilitate financing during this, you know, sobering time. So at first it was, uh, you know, the, the revolvers, loans were getting drawn down, and banks made those loans. They were there. And then that transition to the fixed income markets with record bond issuance, um, and now it might transfer some to the, the equity markets. Mm -hmm. So the big banks are there to help with the financing, and a recalibration of the vocal role, you know, might help some of the trading and the investments that go along with that.